Okay, so here's this multifunction bike lamp and headlamp. It's from lighttake.com, www.lighttake.com. And let's analyze this box. It has the lamp itself. It has a head strap for mounting onto your head, as is mentioned here. And it has these colorful filters for mounting onto the lens. So it will uh, emit a different color light. Okay, let's analyze it forward. It has an LED. It's a Cree XML T6 LED with 700 lumens brightness. And it should last for around 100,000 hours. It can be powered using 2.7 and 4.2 volts between that range. It uses around 2.5 amps output current. Okay, and it can be powered by either a lithium battery 18600 or free AAA batteries also with an adapter that adapter is included okay it should last around 1.5 hours at full brightness okay let's analyze it forward here is shown the bike lamp I and mean the lamp mounted onto the handlebar of a bike that's some Chinese I think I can't read it okay so here's the lamp itself that's the head strap and thus you can mount it onto the head and here's the lamp plus the adapter for the handlebar and thus you can mount it onto your bike okay and let's take a look what's inside already i have opened this one already but the content is the same okay so we have the head strap it looks like this okay this is the lamp itself it has the Cree led okay the battery is not included this is my personal lithium-ion battery it's an 18 650 type lithium battery okay this is the adapter for the free AAA batteries you can mount those smaller batteries there okay and this is the adapter for the bike's handlebar it has a screw for tightening it, opening it. Okay, and you can mount the lamp itself here. Okay, and what else we have? There are these uh, colorful glasses. Okay, so we have these rubber covers, two of them, and these colored plastic lens. They are not lens, they are simple transparent objects. So this is the head strap. This part can be moved up or down. Okay, and of course you can adjust the length of these so you can mount it comfortably onto your head. Okay, I'm putting it on my head so it should look something like this. And the lamp will be mounted onto this one. That was the head strap, and this is the light itself. And there's the LED inside. You can see that magnifying glass also. This is the area where it will be mounted, and it has two ends a minus and a plus, and both of them can be unscrewed. So, by holding it towards you, the left part is the minus and the right part is the plus and both of them the minus and the plus has a spring let's take apart this one also so the plus also has a spring inside this is the plus okay the interior is empty except this small plastic which is needed to make the diameter a little bit smaller because otherwise the battery will dance up inside okay so let's insert that plastic thing there and here on the right side is the plus so this one should be there it's even mark plus let's screw that one there 
Okay, and let's put the negatives there. This is the on-off switch, and it can cycle through different modes. It uses a high power mode, then a low power mode, and then a blinking or stroboscopic effect. You can also hold it down for a few seconds and it will blink differently. So let's try it. And I just discovered a problem. For me on the left side is the minus and on the right side is the plus. And by hitting the on off switch, of course the light won't come up. And if you turn it this way, so that the plus is on the left side right now. Let's take a look. Minus should be on the left side. So I should reverse these two caps. It won't burn out if the battery is reversed. Because inside there is a diode. Okay, so let's unscrew this one somehow. And reverse the battery. I will reverse the two caps also. So minus should be here. And this is the plus. So let's take off this one and put the minus here. Okay, and judging from this angle, the positive should be on the right side. And this is the positive, and this one is also the positive. Okay, so with the lamp towards you, the right side is the positive. And the left side is the negative, just as in the image visible here. Left side is negative, left side is negative. Okay, and now if we hit the on off switch, this is the high power, that's the low power, and that's the blinking effect, stroboscopic effect. And the third time it turns it off. High power, lower power. The difference is not too high between high and low and stroboscopic effect okay and if i hold it now it's a different effect okay let's turn it off and the blue part is for zooming in and out so for example now the beam looks like this it's pretty concentrated and if I rotate it to the left, this will zoom out, it will spread the beam apart, now it looks like this, and if I move it to the right, that should zoom in, it says zoom out, so I'm moving it to the left, it zooms out and it says zoom in. Move it to the right. It's zooming in, but it said zoom out. Okay, whatever. Okay, and now let's mount it onto this head strap. So this one can be moved up and down. But to attach it, you have to move this one down, like so, and then slide one into the other, just like so, and push it down. Now you can move it up. Okay, let me put it on my head. You can adjust the angle. Now it's tilting down. Now it's pointing up. Okay, and there's the light, that's the high beam, that's the low beam. On the monitor it has stripes, so the light is being dimmed by pulse width modulation, I think. Okay, once again, that's the stroboscopic effect, and off. So that's the high power, that's continuous. The low beam is being pulsed by quite a few times and that's why you might see those lines, those vertical lines and at least on the video it's going down. That's a bird. Okay. And another thing, if the light is on then the LED will heat up and the entire 
metal part because this one is metal the blue one is metal all around is metal except this one that's rubber and all of this part will act as a heat sink because the LED is heating up quite well so if the entire lamp is warm or hot then don't get mad don't be afraid of it okay and here's the battery holder you can place three AAA batteries here and instead of using the lithium battery you could use three smaller batteries if you don't have this one less than 18650 lithium ion batteries and instead you could use this one plus it's on the right side here that is you should insert it this way that is the plus there's an arrow pointing to the right that means that's the plus this one okay and if you use the smaller batteries in this mount then you have to take out this plastic otherwise it won't fit in so this one is if it's in then that one won't enter take this one out insert that one screw that in and it should work also okay let's put back this one and try a few filters minus here okay these are the color filters and let's introduce one of those into the plastic I mean this rubber holder like so and simply attach it onto this part it's coming up pretty easily at least on this one and now the light is red if you take it off the light is white it has a bluish tint but it's white now it's red now the light should be blue now the light is green now the light is yellow white yellow okay those were the filters color filters okay now for this bicycle mount basically you have to unscrew this one and put the handlebar inside here put this one onto the handlebar of your bicycle then screw this one back tighten it up and the lamp will be here let's take it off first move it down move this element this one to the left a little bit and then up and that's it it should come off so the end should be moved a little bit down okay the same thing same thing here so slide this one there like so you can even move this one to the left or to the right to take it off just grab this one and that's it you can move this part or so you can unscrew it it's a metal element and this is the magnifying glass it's a little bit scratched I think and there's the LED don't take this one off because there's a ball bearing there this one this is moving there's the wire you can see 